A while back, I made the Camerdactyl DNA pencil case for taking mechanical pencils around and not breaking their tips. Uh, you can watch that video if you want to see me open one of these up and see what's inside. I designed this holder mostly to take mechanical pencils places without breaking their fragile tips, but you know, I don't ever go anywhere post-pandemic, and so I wound up using it on my desk all of the time, and I had made some bold claims about the world's best pencil holder, and I thought there might be a better solution for my desk. This is the world's best pencil holder, watch it spin around. Maybe up until the early 90s, this pencil holder would have been a pretty commonplace item on a lot of professionals' desks. Architects and engineers and artists and, you know, they still sell a few of them, but really, there's not a lot of selection. Oops. This was my slightly larger and very much nicer version for mechanical pencils. Modular. Comes apart. Prints in all these pieces. And it has a Lazy Susan turntable bearing powered by 5.5 millimeter bearing balls or possibly some BBs. This is a 608 bearing. It's not being used as a bearing like many bad turntables loaded transversely. Um, it's actually just being used as a washer and these bearings are doing the load bearing job and has a bearing race here and there's a bearing race here. Put those guys together. Put that guy loosely on top. We don't really want to crank down and load perpendicular to the way that the 608 bearing is supposed to be loaded. And this should actually be a nylock nut, but I gotta go find one. Anyway, that should just lock there and fit nice and freely. All right, I don't know what else there is to say. I hope you dig this pencil holder. You can download the files right now at camerdactyl.com. The slicing instructions are over there. If you download and print it and make a beautiful one and send me a pic, I will really like it. Hey, thanks very much. Uh, until next time, sayonara.